I'm language and international studies. The plan before was FBI work. Um, I really wanted anything that I could turn into uh, learning languages and getting paid for it was what I was really looking forward to because I love learning new languages and uh, I felt like the FBI was the best option for that. But after working with the RBDC, it showed me that I also have really solid skills as a team leader. I have solid skills in policy analysis and in developing reports and research. So I, I felt like I could pursue that because although I really love languages, it was something that I didn't have any professional experience in. And it's kind of hard to get uh, the ball rolling with just that as like a passion. So I, I kind of took a different direction because of what the RBDC taught me. And, and now I'm, I'm going into policy analysis for uh, the government. So well, with my experience at the RBDC, it, it was phenomenal. I had a really, really good time uh, learning how to lead a team. I, I was in charge of a project where we took over the mainstream revitalization of a little town in Idaho called Chalice. We did an econ report for it and we developed sort of a 3D model about what we could do moving forward with the project, as well as what the city kind of wanted to see. Um, about halfway through, things switched up for us because the city determined that they wanted specifically it to be an econ report. So we ended up having to change gears a little bit, which was actually really nice because it gave me the opportunity to kind of learn how to navigate in a business setting and to switch gears as things are kind of moving, you know, rather than getting super set on a plan and getting falling into a few pitfalls. Um, I had a really, really good experience with it. I think working with all the people was super helpful. I had uh, tons of mentorship opportunities where they were able to come in and help me with what I needed, give me the sort of direction that I wanted for the project because I hadn't ever led a project of that caliber up to this point. So it was a really big deal to kind of have people guiding me and holding my hand for parts of it and then kind of giving a, myself an opportunity to spread my wings a little bit when they weren't uh, on me. So I thought that that was super nice. Um, I think it looks really good on a resume too. It, it was super helpful because now I've, I've been getting job offers and stuff just immediately after only having this internship on. People seem to really appreciate the fact that I've worked with the RBDC and I've been in charge of a project. So. Um, I think ultimately it was a 10 out of 10 experience. I had a lot of fun learning how to, you know, maintain the project and, and navigate the business setting pretty much. Well, I learned specifically how to build an econ report, which was something I had never done or even considered doing, honestly. Uh, I also, I think the main thing that I really liked that I took away from it, um, I was a team lead, like I said, so I was given the chance to pretty much navigate all of the different business meetings and stuff. I had to run the meetings. I had to be prepared with points and slides telling what was going on. Uh, I, I just really had to be prepared and had to understand how to conduct myself in a business setting, which was was massive because I had never done that before. I didn't really know how to. I was a little nervous at first to do all the meetings and stuff. It was it was a little uh, awkward, I guess. Um, but the biggest change other than obviously the the career things like working on an econ report, working with the city, those are really big, but definitely learning how to navigate in a business professional setting was, I think, one of the most beneficial things because I, I just feel so much more comfortable, you know, in meetings, talking with people who, you know, maybe in interviews and stuff like that, all of those, it, it just, my level of comfort just shot through the roof after working with the RBDC because you have to do that a lot. Um, well, they, they taught me how to work with the team really well. I think I think right out the gate, one of the first couple of weeks, we went through a little bit of an orientation where they explained to us, um, you know, the strengths and weaknesses of working as a team and why what we should focus on. Um, and so specifically with the RBDC, they taught me that um, the methods that I needed to use in order to incorporate a team and to get everyone on schedule pretty much. And that's, you know, by, by keeping everyone uh, communicating correctly by putting your best effort in because that will give their best effort. They'll feel, you know, a little bit more inclined to, to put their best foot forward as well. Um, so, yeah, I think, again, just just team management, working with the team was was really the biggest thing that I learned from the RBDC specifically. Other than that, I think they taught me how to look for a job after they taught me how to apply for or like for interviews and stuff and to, to go into further internships. 
Um, and I, I thought that was phenomenal. That was, that was super helpful as well. Into the RBDC, be prepared to be really like to self motivate, I think is, is the main thing. I think if you are going to wait for people to tell you everything to do and kind of have like a, I, I guess, yeah, like people aren't just going to tell you exactly what you need to do. You kind of have to be willing to take the reins on your own. And, and that really resonates well with the people at the RBDC from what I've seen. Um, and with the people that you're working for, they really want to see that you're taking charge of the project and you're doing the most that you can to help out your side of the project and, and to keep communication with your team. That, that was another really big part is, is communicating with your team was a bit of a wrench that we didn't really expect because some of us were online, some of us were in person. So it was really easy to communicate with those of us that were in person. But with the people online, we had to get used to using things like Teams uh just different communication methods so that we could all know what was going on at the same time so yeah communication and uh self-motivation i think are the two biggest things you should focus on starting so i just graduated or i'm going to graduate uh this semester so i'm wrapping up got a couple of job offers as a policy analyst with the city of orem which I'm really excited about. So um, I'm thinking about moving down to Utah um, and I'm going to start doing government work specifically. And that, that's actually because of the RBDC. I, I found that I really enjoyed some of the, the things that we went through and I, I really I resonated with the projects that we were doing. It felt like it was helping people. It felt like it really connected me with the community. And so it gave me kind of a a little bit of a spur to make me want to do more government work and then that's what I applied for and now I have a couple of job offers for it.